Hey guys, it's Joanna, and I know it has been a while since I've made a video, but I am still here. Uh, if you follow my Instagram, you will know the reason for this, at least partially, mostly, is because we have recently adopted a puppy. And that has been quite an experience. Uh, you know, I am planning to make a separate video all about that whole thing, so <laughs> if you are considering a puppy, you're definitely gonna want to watch that video before you pull the trigger. Uh, in the meantime, today's video is going to be all about some sunscreens that I have to recommend to you because they are really, really great. And also, Sam wanted to say hi! Alright, so let's get into the sunscreens. Now, a while back, you, you know, a few videos back, I did a very comprehensive kind of mineral sunscreen review where I reviewed a bunch of different brands, a bunch of different products. One of them was the Cots Face Tinted uh, Sunscreen, and this one in that video, I basically described it as a really good sunscreen if you also wear a lot of makeup and you already are using a primer. This basically can replace your primer, so it is very kind of a, especially if you like that kind of benefit professional type of primer, the very like silicone-y thick kind of primer, it's definitely one of those more pore filling primers, I would say, if, if you were to compare this to a primer. Uh, and for me personally, like, I don't wear a lot of makeup, so I also very rarely go full on with the primer, and therefore this is not the first one that I reach for. In that video, I did share with you that the Elta MD was one of my favorite products and continued to be my favorite, one of my favorite products, just, you know, despite having tried all of those new sunscreens, and this was the UV Physical SPF 41. This one, of course, was not without fault. This one, the issue that I experience is that with certain products, or if you are just very vigorous in your application, this tends to pill, uh, which is very unpleasant. You know, you can start feeling that and you're like, oh, what is that? Can I just like wash it off? So I have definitely experienced that with this product. But if I am just, you know, if I know that I'm not going to be putting a lot of stuff on and I just really want a really rich, moisturizing, comfortable, easy to wear sunscreen, this is a really nice choice. It is, you know, designed for like post-operational skin. So it is supposed to be for very uh, sensitive damaged skin and it does a nice job in in that role. So recently Kotz sent me two of their sunscreens and I am super super impressed with these different sunscreens. The one is the Kotz Flawless Complexion and this one is SPF 50. It has zinc oxide 20% as the filter. And the other one is the Kotz Pure Botanicals and Minerals Sunscreen and this one is SPF 45 and has uh, titanium dioxide 10% or sorry 3% and zinc oxide 10% as its filters. So these are slightly differently marketed products. This one is designed for a flawless complexion. I mean I don't really deal with severe acne issues so I can't speak to that specifically. However I can tell you that this product is it feels like a very nice rich moisturizer and you know, compared to the Alt MD, I would say this one is a little creamier and this one is a little stiffer. I also don't experience the same pilling issue with this one. That being said, it doesn't, it, you know, lacks in one department, which is it's definitely not designed to be a sport sunscreen. This is good for everyday use. So that's where this Pure Botanicals and Mineral Sunscreen comes in. This one has uh, water resistance for up to 80 minutes, so it's actually, you know, more effective than the Alt MD. And texturally speaking, this one I would say is a little thicker than the Elta MD. Um, in particular, this Pure Botanicals version has shea butter as its first ingredient. And it is, re like, if I'm saying Elta MD is moisturizing, this one is way more moisturizing. So if you don't like that very creamy, kind of slightly greasy feeling, this you know, you'll probably want to skip this. But I... <laughs> I don't know, my skin, which used to be oily, has now become combo, and I'm just always craving uh, craving really rich moisturizer, so I really like this Kotz Pure Botanicals. Let me just quickly insert now some of me applying it, and you can see whether or not it has any of that white cast. All right, so now I just applied a full face with the amount that I need, which is like almost a quarter teaspoon, not quite. Uh, again, I have a video on how much sunscreen you really need, so you can go check that out. Um, but as you can see, it basically goes on without any cast. It is feels super, so this is, sorry, this is the flawless complexion version. All about similarly, like, 
greasy. <laughs> so if you don't, if you don't like greasy, you're not gonna like this. At least not when you initially apply it. I'm gonna wait now five minutes, and I'll tell you how the uh, texture is after that point. All right, it has been about five minutes, and again, this was the flawless complexion that I just put on, and so this is the lighter version of the two that I'm testing for you today. Um, it feels really rich. It is a, a greasy finish for sure. So if you have oily skin and you don't like that, this is a void. But if you have dry skin or just like me have combo skin and really appreciate this kind of like naturally, you know, highlighted look, this is a really nice, nice sunscreen. So this is the Flawless Complexion and compared to the AltMD, the AltMD does dry a little bit more matte. So I would say that's probably the big difference um, between these products. All right, but now I'm gonna wash this off and I'm gonna demo for you the Pure Botanical and Minerals version. All right, I'm back, face washed. Let's go in now with the Pure Botanical. So as you can see with the initial application, there is a very, very subtle white cast. I would say this is very similar to what the Elta MD kind of looks like when you first apply it. So let's just give this five minutes and I'll come back and tell you what the finish is like and we'll evaluate the cast. Sam really wants to come up here. <laughs> so I'm back, it has been about five minutes and you can see the finish is pretty much no, no more white cast. But you can probably see compared, especially to the Flawless Complexion, this one is definitely a little more shiny. Uh, and you can feel it. Like if I, I'm not sure how makeup would go on top of this as much as the Flawless Complexion. Let's give it a test, shall we? I'm just going to use some of this Dior Forever. Lately when I have been using it, I haven't really been putting any makeup on top of it just because I don't really wear makeup right now since I just chase after the dog all day, every day. Um, but you can see that I'm just putting a little bit on and it's blending in nicely. It definitely has a dewy look. So if you want a matte finish, this is not the product for you. However, like I said, if you are looking for a alternative to the AltMD that doesn't pill and that uh, is really, really moisturizing as well, these cot sunscreens are going to be your friends. Okay, so basically my down arrow with this is that the AltMD has a matter finish. If you're looking for that, that's the way to go. However, be, be again, be warned of its serious issues with filling. Um, but if you are looking for just a really rich, nice mineral sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast, super moisturizing, that uh you know works really well then this cots these cot sunscreens are definitely something to keep on your radar okay so thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time bye